Good afternoon. We're here at the Seacoast Science Center in Rye, New Hampshire. So we're going to go inside and you know, see the aquarium. And they have a, a tank that you can put your hands into and feel the sea creatures. And we're going to check out all the other fun stuff they have in there. So join us. So here we are in front of the Science Center. What I'm noticing right away is that whale on top of the roof. It's not many buildings where you see a whale on top of the roof. It's... They have a rock octopus. Rocktopus, that's what you call that, right? Then some rock sea urchins. Then you have a rock seal right here. <laughs> Look at that. So this is the Belmont the Harbor Seal. That's the name of the, the seal. It was the first seal rescued by the Seacoast Science Center and it was successfully rehabilitated and released back into the wild. He was a newborn harbor seal pup that had been abandoned on the beach by his mother, most likely due to human contact and canine interaction. So they, they have a big part making sure the animals are taken care of. So we're gonna see some of them when we go inside too. attract this whale, Tofu. Tofu was born in the Caribbean during the winter of 2004. She then migrated north with her mother to feeding grounds in the Gulf of Maine. By the fall of 2005, she had been weaned and was finding food on her own. Tofu was last seen alive June 21, 2007. Her body was discovered near Cape Cod just three days later. Um, So this is Tofu, the whale. This is how big she was, even though she was a juvenile. Antarctica became a free flowing circulation, causing new patterns of upwelling. The Earth's temperatures plummeted. It's called the Dorodon. Look at her right here. Same type of animal, ancient ancestor, a modern cousin of the whale. Pretty cool. So here are the aquariums in here. Let's see what we can see. Grace, what is this? What is it? Genetic. This variations. is a one in the middle. Look at look at oh, the color. Oh my god, look at that. This is, that is it's hard to tell with the black light what color that is. One in a million. You'll get a you get a lobster that is one of these colors. Interesting. Oh, look at here. Oh, these little toy lobsters? We got some lobsters. Lobster. There's lobsters in here too. Oh, look at that. It's hiding. So that must be what they do in the wild, too. They hide. And, yeah, and protect themselves from predators. Okay, they're all coming over to sheep. So we've got blue mussels, sugar kelp, lumpfish, and steelhead trout. Oh, okay. So these are the steelhead trout. Like this one has a little something on his lip. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little spot. Yeah. It's kind of a lobster. I don't know if that's a piece of food or something. Oh, look at that big lobster. This is American lobster, size about 10 to 20 inches in length and 40, what? 44 pounds in weight? 
44 pounds? That's how big that thing is? Wow. That's definitely not 40. No, that one's definitely not. Yeah. So, let's see if we can find these. Another one hiding down there. Any black sea bass. So, they could be up to two feet and nine pounds. So, this is a black sea bass right here? Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at the face. Hey. It looks like it's smiling. Yeah. I heard that you can tickle these things and yeah, they, they, they like laugh. Exactly. Look at the face. That's what it's called. 16 to 21 inches long. Native to the uh, Western Atlantic Ocean. Nova Scotia to Canada. Did you see this? You've got to come to this angle. You can see what's down there. Is that a puffer fish down there? Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Hey guys, look at that. A starfish. There. I think he's eating that leaf like that. Who knows? I, I'm not sure what they eat. We have some red anemones right there. No, wait, it's a red hawk. Wait, no. The red hockey? That's the red hockey right there. Yeah. 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 No. And the, uh, what do you call that? See, Is that a deal? It's the inside. Behind the scenes. These are called moon jellies. These are, what are they called? Moon jellies. Moon jellies. Uh, two to 15 inches. The habitat is common through both sides Where's of the Atlantic the Ocean, preferring temp temperate seas. The habitat includes all coastal water zones. It's so okay. for waters with low salt content huh. and upwelling oh, areas. Yeah. What are these things stink? So let's see, they have. Transparent, the round, shallow bell has tentacles attached to the bottom. The tentacles are covered with specialized stinging cells. Okay, there you go. Uh, Like these on our honeymoon, oh, yeah, remember? That's right. The, yeah. the um, Harley's helmet. Yes, Harley's helmet died. Bermuda. That was fun. And slightly yeah, terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Kind of pull it down a there little. There he is. Oh, oh, that's supposed... my head. Yeah, yeah pull the thing down. Yeah, you got to pull it down a little bit. There you go. There he is. You just sit the tight Can you lean your head down? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 How's it sound in there? It sounds like the ocean. All right, you ready to go underwater? <laughs> Yeah, let's All go. Alright, let me I'm gonna Bye. pull I'm gonna push the button here. Yeah. Ready? There we go. <laughs> Alright. Bye Zach. Bye. See you later. See some cool fish. <laughs> So these are all the different yeah. tools of the trade for scuba diving. See you have all these gauges for monitoring the, the divers. Is that all the oxygen? Yeah. Some underwater chainsaw. Gracie's gonna have a turn down. Okay, let Gracie in first and I'll give it a try. She did collapse. Kirby Morgan band mask. Oh yeah. Looking through this mask. Ah! Gracie! What are you doing in there? <laughs> Navy oh, diving helmet. So they really use this. Oh, they're made in Boston, Mass. Everything was made in USA back then. Yes, we did. Good. Hey, you look too serious in there. Yeah. Oh no, that's what he's nervous about. Oh, he's I don't blame you. The crab. Oh no. So the job is complete. Atmospheric diving uses armored suits to keep the diver at a normal surface pressure at all times. Today's atmospheric dive suits, ADS, have carried divers safely to 2,000 feet below the surface. Wow, wow look at that. 2,000 feet in that thing? Caleb. You, you wouldn't see me doing that. These are diving bells. If you've ever pushed a cup of uh, a cup underwater upside down and seen an air bubble trapped inside, you've seen a diving bell in action. First described by Aristotle, these simple submerged air supplies were major leap forward in diving technology and are still used for specialized applications today. I think that's a real person in there? How do you know? Because I can see. Why don't you give him a little tickle? 
Let's see, let's see what happens. No, don't kick him. Hey, no, you gotta tickle his armpit. Tickle his armpit. Tick, 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 tick. Ah, he's laughing in there. Yeah, that's a real live man. Yeah, it's a real live man, guys. Guys, this man, he just laughed. We tickled him and he laughed. Yeah. You must have to stand there all day. Some more fish in here. Some green crab here. And I think I see it right there. There's one Between the rocks. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah. It's in our backyard. Little TV area. To be able to look at the large kelp forests, big horse muscle beds, the habitat structure that other species depend on. That's incredible. Yeah. Sheep's head fish. Hey, it looks like they're attacking that crab. What are they? It's attacking the crab. What crab? Oh, yeah. I don't know if that crab's alive or not. It's hard to tell. I thought I saw it moving its legs. But yeah, I think the crab might be dead. Pretty fish, huh? Yeah, they have stripes. Zebra. Looks like a zebra. I wonder why they call it a sheep's head. Does it look like a sheep's head? Here. Should have been called a zebra fish. Feel like that. It's not sharp. It's not sharp? No. It looks sharp. Would you like to touch the starfish in the container? You can hold it for Grace if you can do it that way. Nice and gentle, my love. Is that a wheel? So, what do starfish eat? I'm wondering. Um, so, they, their favorite thing is mussels. So, mussels that's why we kind of have like some mussel shells crossed over. Oh, I see. Um, but yeah, they actually like, if this is like the muscle shell, they go like around it. And their stomach is like underneath in the center. Oh, really? Um, and they actually like, somehow they like expel their stomach outside of their body while they eat. So it's like a little bit dangerous for them because obviously that you're pretty vulnerable if you have yeah. a little organ outside. Wow. Um, but I didn't yeah. Know that. That's amazing. Yeah. Do so you know how many eyes a sea star has? Any how many what? Eyes. How many eyes? How many eyes? Twelve. Twelve? A little less than that. Six. So close. They have five. So they have one on the end of each leg. Really? Yeah. Five eyes. Well, I guess if the seesaw had six legs, they would have six eyes, I would think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little snails. Snails are trying to escape over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look at that thing. I've never seen a live one of those before. Yeah. I've only seen the shell. So this is a channeled well. And so this is like the soft like snail body. And then it has this hard shell called an operculum. And so if it feels threatened, it just like goes back into the shell and it closes up. And then it's nice and hard and things can't get to the soft body. Are there any animals that'll try to bite through that shell? Or? I don't know. I'm not, I think they probably try to get them when they're like outside of yeah, it. Yeah, it's easier. Yeah. I don't know like what eats them though. I don't know. Huh. But yeah, I know that they have this thing called a radula that they like shoot out the end of their shell and it drills holes into other like hard shell wow. organisms. Really? Yeah, they'll drill a hole and then they like have enzymes I think that kind of like break down the body inside wow. and then they like slurp it in again. <laughs> No, we should touch it. Yeah. Complicated little creatures. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hold it at all? No. You don't have to. Guys, you want to hold that? No. You can't hold it. You can kind of feel the soft body. It's not going to bite or anything. Yeah, it won't hurt you. You're too slow to hurt you. Isn't that cool? It's heavy. Like, you always see the shells, but you have no idea, like, what's exactly. inside it. Exactly. I know. Okay. Beautiful shells. That's so cool. That a real snail. Zach, what do you think? You've never held one of those before. Yeah. Alive, anyway. Yeah. There you go. See the lobster down there, Grace? Yeah. The lobster's crawling. Right there. Yeah. It's got like one rubber band and then that one 
the rubber band fell off the other block. <laughs> so I'm not gonna pull that one out. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get pinched. Yeah, well, lobsters have a pretty nasty pinch. I bet. Yeah. Probably yeah. yeah. oh, this is fine. Horseshoe crab, if you want to see it. Oh, is that? Yeah, it's raising its tail. Yeah, do they bite or? Um, or sting? No. So yeah. they have claws underneath, like Whoa. like a little crab. Um, but the the tail part, I can't think of the name here. But like the tail um, doesn't actually sting. So it's actually for when they're like out in the ocean, if they get kind of like tumbled around and they like end up on their backs, uh, they like okay. stick it in the ground and then it like helps them lift over. Oh, that's a good idea. So, that's cool. yeah, yeah, they won't hurt you. They won't sting you. Yeah. But they, they could change underneath, but they're not. It's good really to know. I always thought they. But they have no. You, know, you gotta keep yeah, your hands away. Yeah. <laughs> but they're so cool. Like What's the underneath look like, Zach? Uh, yeah. 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 I didn't realize the Flipped shell bent like that in the middle there, too. Yeah, it's like a little bit. Pivot point, right? Yeah. Can you fall? I know. That's Can you see one there? Two feet, but it's calm to me. I don't know if they're really cool. Hey, I didn't know you had your boater's license. Are you going fishing? Wait, fish, there's one in the middle. Pick a Fish get caught. This one's bad. It's a magnet, huh? Oh, that's a good idea. I'm not going to stick. Grace is the store. Good job, bud. Oh, what's that? Now you on the boat. That's the uh, pulley system. It, it, it. Yeah. Okay. Bye. You loading up the fish, Grace? Oh, I can hear. You guys caught some good ones. Getting them ready for market? Carrie, do you think that's a real piece or that was washed up? Feels real. It has a curve on it, so it almost looks like it was part of a, a ship's hull. See, it curves down here too. Just hanging out up there. Hello. 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 I can't see Gracie's face. She's right there. She you guys are packed in there like sardines. I'll scoot it on because you're not It actually sounds kind of yummy. I'm in the mood for some sardines. Here I come, guys. Blub. Blub. Another cool. Carrie, this one's trying to clean its skin. Look at it. It's like taking a little bath. It was rubbing against the seaweed there. Oh, that, okay. Anemone? 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 Amenity? Nope. It's not an With the New Hampshire coast, you have the Great Bay, which is. Going known for their oysters. So here's some sample oysters. Guys, do you see this tank? This oyster tank here? Yeah. See that? How they just cling on? Right there. 
You see how they're wrapped around? Their tails are wrapped around. Look, yeah. Such interesting animals. Can I get ice cream? Look at that. Yeah, that's Here, look at it. Yeah. Guys, look at the seahorse. Look at how they move around. So they're weak swimmers, easily captured by prey. They're vulnerable, relying on camouflage for protection. Only a few eggs out of a brood of 2,000 survive to adulthood. Seahorses live only one to three years. They're unsustainably harvested for pet trade, dried souvenirs, and medicine. Their habitats are declining due to pollution and climate change. That's too bad. So here we have the eastern box turtle. Yeah. So this is all the trash they found on this, in this park in 2019. Wait, this is all the trash? This is just from this park. They found Duncan? Yeah, all, the, all this trash. And a bunch of coal. Yeah. <laughs> so the buoys count as trash? Yeah, that's trash, oh, yeah. What is this one? Because they're A little wave machine. You gotta push that down. No, okay, then I can't just want to go Cool. We have this ocean gallery, you can draw your own picture on here. Oh, nice. There's a big shark. 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 These are all the beaches in New Hampshire. You have Odeon State Park, Wallace, Foss. Rye Harbor, Janice, Sawyer's Beach, Bass Beach, Northampton State Beach, North Beach, Hampton Beach, and lastly Seabrook Beach. A lot of beaches. So they have the sand from each beach. Looks like Bass Beach has the rockiest sand. Looks like Bass Beach has the rockiest sand. I would say Rye Beach has the finest. They did have this little play sand area. Assuming it's the actual sand from the beach. Look at What are you guys gonna make? Yeah, baby. No way. Grace, you can try filtering out the sand, filtering out the rocks. If you do this. See how the fine sand will come out the bottom? And then you'll be left with just the rocks on top. What is hidden under there? What did you hide under there? What? A buried treasure? You know what, you know what it is? You have to dig. Uh, a shell. Did you hide a shell in there? No! Oh, not a shell. Oh, you got a turtle in there. Lifeguard! Jack! Jack! That's the bones from the whale. Baleen whale. Um, the size of those bones. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like they're vertebrae. Whoa, those bones. are those are. These are just the vertebrae. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of these then. There is. What is that, Kel? Oh, hammerhead. That's so cool. That is cool. Oh, look at the eyes on it. Yeah, Jack, cool. do you know Jack Squid's eyes are as big as a basketball? A lot of fun bath toys. Oh guys, you have this, diving submarine. Oh yeah, no. These things are really cool. They're baking soda and they, they, they go up and down in the water. They have a deluxe magnifier. Can you oh, get yeah. a toy? Oh mom, this is satisfying. Really Dad, Jack, you want to see something satisfying? Yeah. Yeah? Ooh. It's a stress ball, right? Yeah, yeah, there's also this, Dad. This is really... Can I check this out? Glow in the dark. Oh, oh glow in the dark yeah. stars? For yeah. The room? yeah. Well, not stars, but fish. Fish stars? Yeah. Oh, guys, they have a kite. Oh. A shark kite. Well, I, well, oh, cool. well, well, no, we should do it in the, in the winter day. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, I bet, I bet you would have worked really well outside yeah, in the wind. Because there's 20 to 30 so. miles per hour. Yeah. yeah. Very windy day today. Gracie, the little mermaid. 
Oh, so they have a puzzle that changes the scene, different angles that you hold it. Oh, whoa. Like a lifeguard boat, rescue boat. They have a whole baby section here. Sand toys. A little buoy bench. That's clever. A lot to see, uh, touch, and smell, and we re invite you to join us here sometime and on the lovely coast of New Hampshire. Take care, bye bye. <laughs>